Hey, how y'all doing? Welcome back to Major Slack Videos, your first stop for titillating tactical gaming. We are here playing Far Cry 3 on the Master Difficulty setting, and we're at the Rust Yard Outpost. We just finished liberating it, and we also just finished getting the Shredder signature weapon. Uh, there is a Path of the Hunter quest we could do here that will allow us to carry more C4 and more uh, mines. So let's do it. Attack the Dermis wants a rare white belly taper. Hunt one with the bow provided at the designated area. This should be a total cakewalk because these things aren't even aggressive. So, it is down that way. It's on an island. That's right. Yeah, so it's the other way around. There we go. Right there. And is that a leopard? Or a tiger? Cool. Uh, that was really cool. Right. <laughs> so cool, I had to shoot it. Yeah. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Hey, two for one. All right. Get a tiger skin. Actually, get two tiger skins and a buffalo hide. Give it up. There we go. Buffalo. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll leave that guy alone. I knew he was gonna hurt himself. Jason, you total retard. Seriously. And now we're gonna use up one of our medicine syringes. It's amazing how you can like fall like, you know, half a mile and face plant into the water, but you fall three feet and you injure yourself. How, how does that work, Jason? How does that work? Tell me. You wanna explain that to me? Okay, so the bow is right over here. Ooh, dude, up here, boss. Thank you very much. And I always like to trade out my launcher. There we go. Now, might as well collect some... Not sure what I'm doing in the amber leaf department. Let's just take a little look-see here. Hunting, yeah, we could use a few more. And let's get to get our syringe kit into hunting mode. Hunter syringe. Um, take a few more. Actually, I don't really need that many. <laughs> okay, I'll use up one more now. And there's some tapers. All we gotta do is find the right one. Got him down. Nope. Is it you? Yeah, it's you. Get down. Don't run away. I want to talk to you. <laughs> no, come on. Hold still. Okay, this is a little harder than I thought. Oop. Okay, don't waste a little bit of it. As it go in the water and kill yourself. There we go. Finally got him. <laughs> now, face your destiny. What a done no, now we can craft an extended munitions pouch let's do that right now uh, over over down here it's highlighted extended munitions pouch carry six pieces of c4 and six mines with this king sized pouch one please thank you very much and mission accomplished let's fast travel back to rust yard Now, I want to get my grenade launcher back because that's going to be very important for the next uh, outpost. We don't really have to do this outpost. I'm just doing it for, you know, just to kind of clean up the island a little bit. All right, take a look at it. It's the Cradle View outpost. We've got everything all green except for that, like it's that there. Okay, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So we might as well do it, you know, it's just for posterity. And then we're going to go save Oliver, okay? Yeah, Oliver can wait. <laughs> 
we want to make everything pretty green yeah so I'm just gonna drive south and around and up to cradle view let's do it Probably only got a crappy vehicle at our disposal here. Yeah, here it is. We can swap it out for another one halfway to our destination. Let's get through here. Uh, how many of you remember Gran Turismo on the old PlayStation 1? That was one of my favorite racing games of all time. I love that game. Fantastic racing simulation game. Gran Turismo. I played the hell out of that. Post a comment. What's your favorite racing game? Yeah, okay, we'll do it. It's pretty fun to swap out. What? Don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, you got a crappy car, okay. And yeah, here's what I want. Another great racing game. Tell me how many of you remember this. Road Rash, okay? I think that was on the PlayStation 1 too. That was a fantastic game. Motorcycle racing game. Graphics are crap. I mean, back for it's an old game, you know? But, um. It was a hell of a lot of fun. Up here. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, holy shit. The traffic is <laughs> pretty heavy this time of day. Okay. Uh, do you have a round track? This outpost we're coming up to, this is kind of weird. This is my grenade launcher outpost. It's going to take the whole thing down using the grenade launcher, believe it or not. Yeah, I, after doing this like dozens and dozens of times, I figured out it's the easiest way. The problem with this outpost is uh, there's just too many um, chargers and there's too much grassy fields, too many grassy fields around the outpost. So you start taking them down, they, they get all upset and start whipping Molotovs all around and then everything, you know, is on fire and you spend a lot of time trying to run away from the fire. There we go, this is a beautiful place to tag up everybody, you get a beautiful view of the outpost, just show you on the map where I am so you can see the coordinates there. Oh yeah, right about there. All right, so let's go up on the top side here. We're looking for a special location. There's also some caged dingoes here, but they won't really help you much if you free them up. And the coordinates I'm looking for, let me just look at my cheat sheet here. Cheat sheet says coordinates are... Five sixty six X five sixty six Y eight twenty four Y eight twenty four because I say so. <laughs> I don't know. Up, 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 up. And you hear the dingoes there barking away. Okay, so X five sixty six. Actually, I could just estimate where it is. We're almost there. We are there. That's it. Right about here. So those two guys are the target and then what we're going to do is everybody's going to start pouring out of the outpost from that side as soon as we make some noise and we're just going to blow them all away with a grenade launcher one by one. Come and get some. Yeah. Yep. Hang on reloading, no fair. Okay, this could be time for the shredder. There we go. And I should do it. Okay. <laughs> easy peasy, nice and easy. Easiest way to take down that outpost. Got to see the shredder in action. 1500 XP. Alright. So that's that. Flippy clop over the fence here. Let's do in the dingles. So, well, I don't know. Should we have some fun with the dingles? Hey, guys. Feel like uh, getting it on with some dingoes? Sorry. Watch it. Getting these guys get whacked. Okay, so dingoes are no match for you. All right. Sorry, dingo. 
<laughs> it's my job. Rest assured that you die providing entertainment for many of my YouTube viewers. And you there, give it up. The loot chest over here. What? Where? Dude, you're imagining things. <laughs> okay, now. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, there's a fire there. What are you guys looking at? We have the outpost. But yeah, okay. it was beautiful once. It Check will be again. See if I can uh, lose this guy the outpost, But there is still more to do. <laughs> Check out the jobs on the bulletin board. No, there's nothing I want to do uh, in the way of uh, extra jobs. That is that. Let's go hit up the safe house, take care of business. Do I need to make it? Yes, I do. Gimme. And oop. selling up your boss. Any skins? Yeah, we got lots of skins. Oh yeah, all right. Still got lots of movement. That is that. Um, since we got so much movement, let's buy some body armor. It's gonna be very useful for the next uh, story mission, which is saving Oliver. All right, zip. And um, yeah, saving Oliver. You might want to make some untouchable. How do you make untouchable? Well, if you got the recipe, the easiest way is to simply fast travel to Valsa Docks, and that's like, as I've said before, your one-stop untouchable shop. All the leaves you need to make untouchable are here, right? I do believe I have enough blue leaves. Let's just take a quick look-see here. Yep, we got enough blue leaves to make at least two untouchable. Uh, we're only short on white and green leaves, okay? And once more, just to review, blue leaves can be found right down near the shore. Tons of them, at least eight, 16 if you had the horticultural 101 skill. And green leaves can be found off to the east. Where's my north indicator? There's my north indicator, therefore that way is east. Yeah, green and white leaves can be found off to the east. Whole bunch of green leaves here. Whip. Gimme. Watch out for dogs, eh? And loot chest you can't find. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Dude, I got a shredder. Hey, I don't think so. I just don't think so. I gotta cut you down like yesterday's cheese. You know what I mean? Yeah, get down. Did you see what happened to your buddies there? Okay, we got one white leaf. Here we go. But are they after the? Uh, should I be skinning these guys? Look at the scope on this thing. This is ridiculous. Look at the glare and the... Yeah, I know. I, I pissed about that last video. All right. Oh. <laughs> Skinny, get up here, boss. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, seriously, dude. Yeah, yeah. Those little spritz will do you. Little dab will do you. Come on, come on. Come on, I take his on. I take his on. I take his on with one hand behind my back. Okay, so uh, I think we just need one more white leaf. Should be over by the ruins. I know there's a chest there. 
and they care. There it is. And what the hey, let's collect some cr crimson leaves. Keep our supply of enhanced perception up and running. Okay, that ought to do it. Let's take a little look see little uh, little look see. So here we go. And we can make uh, at least two un two untouchable. There we go. And what the hell? Let's assign it to slot number eight. Okay, so that will get you through saving Oliver. The uh, rail shooter part of saving Oliver. And I'll show you about that later on. I'm going to do it without using Untouchable though, I just did this for demonstrational purposes. So that's it, we're all set up to do Saving Oliver. Let's go fast travel to the nearest location, which I do believe is um, Rust Yard? Yeah, here we go, yeah, Rust Yard. And just want to reload everything. And I got lots of money. I think I'm gonna buy some ammo. I got nothing to sell. Oh wait, here we got these. What do I need for saving Oliver? What do we need for saving Oliver? We need well, we don't need any sniper ammo because we're giving it for free and we need no we don't need any ammo at all so let's hold off on buying the ammo because i'm a cheap son of a bitch <laughs> and i think that's about it i'm gonna save the game here thank you all very much for watching and join me next time when we take on the saving oliver mission and we save one of our buddies arses from the hands of the pirates all right and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining hey don't forget to give the old slackster a thumbs up yeah all right that's it slack is out Hey guys, you can get this entire video walkthrough in easy to read ebook format. The Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual is a compilation of all the notes I took to create this walkthrough. It is the most complete game plan you can find that will have you beating the game on any difficulty setting, including the new very hard Master Difficulty. And you can get this all for only $9.99. How about a sneak peek, Slack? <laughs> Want a sneak peek? Okay, I can do that. Click on the link in the video description to get the Far Cry 3 Master Field Manual free sample.